Alright you guys, so welcome to uh, uh, our little um, tutorial on how to make sprites in Photoshop. Uh, so Photoshop used to be two software generated, uh, it used to be called Image Ready and Photoshop. When you buy Photoshop you would get Image Ready with it too. It was a web software that had uh, also an animation package, an animation module if you want to. Uh, they, they, they stopped doing that because uh, people were not using that, um, you know, the image ready enough. Uh, I wasn't. And so they created one uh, with um, just one Photoshop that has pretty much everything into it. Okay. And uh, the module for animation now is in window animation right here. Okay. Which open at the bottom. Uh, you have the animation timeline. You have Muse Your Log. Uh, for us, we are going to use animation timeline for now. Okay. And we will be creating uh, animation using that right here. So let's make a new file and uh, you guys will be doing the final sprite uh, stripe because I know you guys are using uh, game makers okay so you guys will do the, the final one all right um, in game maker okay we will export a sequence of uh, of ping or sequence or of, of gif or jpeg whatever you're looking for and then you can reconstruct it in, in uh, actual um, Game maker really easily making the strip like that. Okay, so let's make a new uh, a new one and let's create that. Um, so we'll make a ball bouncing up and down, for example. Okay, for a video game. Uh, so let's have that. Uh, the width not too big, but not too small, so you guys can see it. Okay, so two five six and the height ten twenty four. That should be way enough. All right, like that. So we have a background, I like to have uh, transparency, uh, so I'm going to get a, a layer on top of it, get the background, delete the background right here, so I have a transparency layer right here. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just make a ball that go up and down, okay? So you understand the principle. So you create your object, you have your object created. Sorry, it was a little bit. Try to put it in the middle as much as possible. You'll tie it up after, okay? And I'm gonna fill it up with red in that layer right here, okay? I'm gonna duplicate that layer actually, actually a couple times, not many layers, right click and duplicate layers, okay? And I'll do that a couple times. That should be good enough for now, okay? So we'll call it one, we'll call it two by double clicking, call it three, call it four, call it five, oops, sorry, call it five, right here, okay? Uh, we want to be, uh, you guys, um, in the other view of this. So let me make that a little smaller so you can see the timeline a little bigger. And that's the full timeline for everything right now. All right, now we want to be in that right here in frames, okay? Um, because we're gonna move it basically from thing to thing. So right here at the bottom, this is the first frame. It lasts 10 seconds, which is quite a bit. We'll change that for uh, a small delay of 0.2, all right, for example. And we are, uh, let me move Photoshop a little bit on that, okay? So it doesn't bother anymore. So right here we have one layer, okay, and we're gonna create more layers basically. Let's create five layers for now, okay? Um, because we changed the time of the first one, everything is gonna change the same way, which is pretty useful. We don't even have to do it multiple times, okay? Now what we're gonna do is that we are going to uh, ensure that only one is selected, the first one in the first frame. We're going to go to the second frame and make sure two is selected and not one. And we're going to move two down. You got to be on that layer. You got to move down two. Actually, we want to click on shift in that situation so it's changing some values. So we'll start slow. Right, yeah, that's two. We'll go to three. And that three, we want three only to be selected. So we're going to three. And we're going to select that. And we'll do the same thing, we're gonna get it down more. 
right here. Pick up speed a little bit, all right? Now you're gonna go to four, and on four, only four will be selected, all right? And right here, and you are gonna move four down, almost touching, actually, you will make it to touch, and squash, actually, the mirror. Okay, uh, actually, right here for now. Coming in, all right, and on five, we'll make just five appear. Right here, and five will touch it right in the center. Okay, now right here at the bottom, we can see the, all the options now. Look, just like the VCR, back to the or the beginning of the frame, the end of the fr next frame. All right, we can see our frames. All right, now we can change the way it plays. We'll do it forever if you want to. And you're just gonna click on it, and that's it. You have your ball bouncing. Okay, uh, remember that um, in video game you should do a loop so you'll bounce back and forth like that. You'll go one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. All right, uh, if you want to. So that's not a big deal. Okay, now you got a sprite like that. It's very easy now, you just need to export it. So what you do is you create a folder. Ball bouncing. Right. And you go into Photoshop right here, and you're gonna go to File, Export, Render Video, right there, and you're gonna export that. It'll come. Uh, so you put ball bouncing, the name on the top. You make sure it's in the proper folder. So on my desktop. Bouncing right here. And we'll make sure we want an image sequence, not a quick time video. It'll probably by default be on that. So you want to go to image sequence right here. Okay, I like pink because they have uh, transparency. So uh, that's what I like. Okay, I don't want any interlace either, actually. But now that's good. Okay, we don't want more than two digits because we want to have more than two digit amount of frames. Okay, and we want uh, the size of the document. So like that, uh, it's properly um, spaced, power of two, uh, if you need to, which is not the case, but if you need to, I always want some power of two. And you can change the speed of the frame rate right here, I'll set 30 right there, okay, you guys. Uh, and make sure that you have the alpha channel set up to straight on native for now, okay. And then you just click render, and it's going to render those four frames, those five frames. That's it, that's done. And if we look at it right here, we have 30 frames that represent those five frames. So you have a 30 frame per second animation now, you know, using those five frames. All right. So there you go. All right. So that's pretty much the way to export it. I would advise you guys uh, I've put only five frames. Uh, you shouldn't do that. All right. You are much better off putting, if you're working at 30 frames per second, you need to have the 30 frames. All right, you guys? Uh, five frames is not enough, this is just for the demo. Okay, you guys, because that would be too long for no reason to show 30 frames. But you need to have 30 frames for 30 frames per second. You need to have 60 frames if you have 60 frames per second. Okay, you guys? So the amount of frames is really, really important to get the proper speed. If not, it will slow down your stuff. Okay, that's gonna play around at 30 frames per second. So it's multiplied by five, you know, the amount of things, okay? Um, that's why I do sprites. Uh, and then after that, you just bring them back. Uh, you just import just uh, what you exported, all right? All those 30 frames, you ex import them into um, Game Maker, and Game Maker will make a sprite for you, and it will make, uh, if I remember, uh, Game Maker makes uh, like film uh, size type of thing, okay? Uh, I'll see you guys for the other one, for the, uh, really soon for the, actual um, 
letters and uh, fonts um, tutorial.